Good afternoon, everyone. It is Wake My Light, and today we're going to go over a video for uh, what add-ons do I think, personally, that you should use if you're going into either Mythic Plus or Raiding. Um, we'll go ahead. I'll have a list somewhere on the screen for you guys, hopefully, and as well as a list down below in the description. Um, and we're going to go over real quick just which ones I think you should have for whichever content you're doing uh, and why I think that they're important, right? Um, some of them are more important than others. Um, some of them are not as important, and you could go, definitely get away with, with not using it. Um, the biggest thing, like I always tell people, is go with what you're, com with, um, you're comfortable with or what you like, and screw everyone else, right? So, All right, so your first ones that you're definitely going to want to do, no matter what, if you do Mythic Plus or Raiding, is you're going to want a uh, an add-on for dungeons, timers, that kind of thing. And so the main ones that people are going to tell you and almost every raiding guild that's worth their salt is going to tell you that they that you need is going to be either DDBM, also known as De De Deadly Boss Mods, or Big Wigs slash Little Wigs. Big Wigs is for raids, Little Wigs is for dungeons. I personally use Big Wigs and Little Wigs. Um, it does... Uh, the thing with DBM is DBM is going to tell you, tell you pretty much everything, right? Uh, it provides a ton of information at you from the start. Um, big wigs and little, little wigs um, is good from a base level. You do have to, it is a lot more granular. And sometimes for a boss fight, you do need to go into the add-on and say, hey, I want you to announce this, right? It's not gonna announce everything at you all the time, um, but it does have everything there. Uh, big wigs to big wigs and little wigs to me is much more customizable or just easier to customize and doesn't automatically just show you everything it shows you the super important information and then if you want something announced and stuff you have to set it up yourself um, so it is a little bit more hands-on required but in my view it's a little bit better that way so that I know like as a healer if I need to know when a when certain things are happening I can set that up it takes two seconds um, set up the announcement special voice or whatever I want and that's it GG we're done right um, so first one first and foremost for no matter what you're doing big wigs slash low wigs or DBM um, you need to ha need to have those uh, the next one that I highly recommend uh, is going to be weak auras uh, weak auras 2 I believe is what's what's called down here weak auras right um, so it's a huge suite here uh, weak or the reason I say weak auras is especially when you go into if you watch any of the myth the, the race world first mythic plus high level mythic, mythic plus people pretty much everyone um, there's a weak or for pretty much everything you can make a whole UI with weak auras to display certain certain information uh, set up announcements uh, when you cast a spell automatically yells things for you that kind of stuff uh, actually this like right here this um, this stat indicator here where it shows my intellect crit that kind of my all my values uh that's a weak aura right there uh if i was in combat i actually have a thing i have a ui set up right here a paladin right so this right here this is an entire weak aura it shows me that the holy power i have it'll show me cooldowns for all my spells and abilities uh divine toll bestow faith all that stuff so it has all that information there uh, a lot of these you can get from wago.io i believe um it's your pretty much your one-stop shop if you ever need to find weak auras, uh, that kind of thing. A lot of your dungeon and myth, uh, your rating um, has weak auras now that almost does the same thing that DBM and stuff does. So it can sometimes be redundant, but a lot of times are, are set up a little bit better and just do better announcements. So one I highly recommend for everyone to use is definitely going to be um, weak auras. Uh the next thing, coming from a healer standpoint, because this is that's mostly what I do. I do everything, but I mostly heal. The next one is going to be whatever your healer setup is, whether it's click with grid slash LVI or voodoo, right? Have a healer add-on. Um, I, I, I highly suggest using a heal, uh, some kind of add-on to help you heal. Um, some people don't like don't like using it. Some people are, you know, and they rate at a high level and stuff. I'm not discounting that. For me personally, uh, and for a lot of people that I know, Using an add-on to help help with healing is just it's insurmountable. You you can't put a, a value on that, right? Find something that's going to work for you, right? That lets you react faster, make decisions faster, act on those decisions faster. Whether it's going to be okay, I want a holy shock, and then we'll go into holy light, and then this and that. 
um, so that you're performing less actions to, pro to provide the same amount of support, right? That's that's always been my thing. How can I streamline the what I need to see and do as fast as possible, right? So if I need to fucking, you know, I can just do everything straight from my mouse and all I have to do is little, little onesie, twosie clicks. To me, that's faster than, you know, targeting someone, then hitting the button or whatever. Whatever works best for you, that's what you should do. But I personally would suggest either click with grid slash LVUI or Voodoo, depending on what you're doing. Um, now, if we go into uh, the last one, I would say, uh, especially for both uh, rating and mythic plus is going to be details details isn't needed heck no right it's a damage meter right it's a damage meter slash healing meter slash death meter slash all those meters right um but i use it as unfortunately especially in this day and age right dps and healing and all that kind of stuff it matters right um and for me it's to me i've always found it to be a decent gauge to go okay how well am i doing right at least as a dps as a healer meters don't matter it matters more on our people dying meters do matter but it less so right unless you have there are very few fights anywhere where it's just a straight throughput challenge right it's usually more of triage and make sure that people don't die right there's two different things um you know something that that is good for uh, there, there's very few fights that where it's like, okay, you need to have 40 HPS from here to there the entire time. Not so much, right? Most of your fights as a healer is going to ebb and flow, right? You have points of high burst damage or just slow constant damage, right? And that's where you have to know what your healers are good at, what they're not good at, uh, focusing, not focusing, that kind of thing, right? Um, but I personally... I, I will personally almost always suggest to someone to have some kind of damage meter there, especially if they're a DPS, because you don't know how well you're doing unless you see something like that, right? And if you're like always at the bottom of the meter, for me, I always have a goal of I want to get top meters, right? Uh, it sounds bad, sure, right? But the thing is, is how are you going to get better if you're not seeing how well you're doing, right? Um, now, should you be focusing on what your damage meter is in the, in the middle of a fight? No right you, it matters more of hey let's make sure we survive but at the end of the fight if you go over and go man i have a lot less obliterates or a lot less holy shocks than i feel like i should it's a good way to tr to try and indicate that see that and go oh shoot i need to work on this warcraft logs is the same thing um that's a website for seeing logs for fights and stuff but i personally suggest getting details because it, it can get very granular uh, you can see how many casts you do of something, what your minimum uh, damage was, maximum damage or healing was, what your crits were, all that kind of stuff. It's a very good tool to parse out what you're doing, your different breakouts, how well is something doing, like a trinket compared to others. Um, it's really good all-encompassing. Uh, the next things are going to be mainly for Mythic Plus. Pretty much everything that's for for raiding is included in Mythic Plus. And then for Mythic Plus, I suggest a few others, especially if you're trying to push Mythic Plus at a decent level, right? Um, so the main ones that um, that you would want is going to be something like Raider IO. Raider IO uh, is something that, unfortunately, uh, and I say unfortunately for a reason, right? But everyone uses Raider IO. If they're pu pushing usually anything 15 higher, they usually have Raider IO. Um, it is a way for it. It's if you've been to the website, you know what it is. This syncs up with Raider IO. You do have to constantly update this add-on, unfortunately, but it lets you see okay, how many times has they have they done this dungeon? How many how many points do they have? That kind of thing. Um, and a lot of people, unfortunately, look at how high is your your points for Raider IO. I'm not condoning it i'm not doing anything like that i'm just saying this would be this is one that you should have especially if you if you're like me and you want to push mythic plus uh raider io unfortunately is one of those things that you probably want um so you can gauge and you're not bringing in someone that has never done a plus 10 and you're going into a plus 20 right you don't generally want that there's a that's a huge jump um the next thing is going to be method dungeon tools, especially when you start going, when you have a consistent group, you're going into things, uh, you're going into Mythic Plus, and you want to map out your run or anything. Mythic dungeon tools is crucial for this. Um, usually your tank or whatever is going to have this, but here we, we see that you can, you can literally, it'll literally say it's very easy for you to work with, right? You you can start from you know you can reset this 
re reset two two, and you you can map out your entire thing. Okay, we want to take this with this with this with, you know, this. We want to do all this in one pool, right? And then we add another pool, and then we want to do this and this and this all in the next pool, right? You can get very granular. Uh, your big Mythic Plus people are definitely using this um, to map out. See what your what your uh, trash count is going to be. See how big a pools you can get. Right, no, know, okay, this pool's coming up. Then this pool's coming up. It's really good for planning your route out and knowing where your breakpoints are. Uh, knowing your orders. No, okay, this pack doesn't mean all that much, but this pack's gonna be rough. This is when I pop my cooldowns. All those different things. So, <clears throat> Mythic Dungeon Tools, hundred percent. If you're going to push Mythic Plus in any kind of way, highly suggest you should have this add-on. Um, is it super, super needed? No. But is it pretty needed? Yes. Especially if you go into the pugging world like I do sometimes, um, and your tank is going to share their route or whoever the lead is shares their route, or they might ask, hey, do you have a route that you have in mind? This is a very good tool to set it up. You can actually, you know, in party, you can share it, and you're good to go, right? So... That one's another good one. And as a healer or as a lead, the next one that you probably want is Zen Tracker. So what is Zen Tracker? Zen Tracker, if you watch any of my Mythic Plus uh, or other videos, um, it correlates with weak auras. It's a, it's a little bit of a, it takes a little bit to set up. You need a few different things in order for it to work correctly. Um, and they have that kind of stuff on like Wag.io or on if you go to the add-on site. But Zen Tracker is going to be something that... Uh, if you were to look at my party unit frames, I have it only for, it's usually set up only for party, Mythic Plus kind of thing. But Zen Tracker is going to be where I can see everyone's cooldowns um, and, and everything off to the next of their unit frames, right? So I can see if my tank has like, has already blown all their CDs, how much time they might have left till, until the next one. Um, if they have any available and I can tell them, hey, pop Bone Shield, hey, pop this, pop that. Uh, I can also see if my DPS have their DPS cooldowns up, if they have them down, anything like that. Um, so Zen Tracker is going to be one of those that I highly, highly recommend, especially as a Mythic Plus lead or as a healer or a tank. So you can pull around it, uh, know when to pop a CD, when not to, when pe other people have it available, uh, when to tell them, hey, pop your freaking invulnerability, you're about to get this debuff that's about to kill you, um, all those different things. So that wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please hit like, subscribe, bell button, all that fun stuff. Uh, you can check me out at twitch.tv slash wakemylight. And with that, I'll see you all later.